Greetings, shining bulls and shining bears, and welcome to this, the 51st episode of the Crypto Astrology Podcast. Please note that financial astrology, similar to technical analysis, is not 100%. I, Maya Raghavan, am not an influencer. I am not a financial advisor. Rather, I am a financial astrologer, using the planetary positions as data inputs in my analysis of the probable nature of price movements. I do not make your decisions for you. Your decisions are up to you. Shining Bull content is here to stimulate your own thought process as you make your own decisions relating to your own finances for yourself and by yourself. Please uh, do share my videos uh, with others so that more people can benefit from my work as a financial Vedic astrologer. We are going to take a look at what this week holds for Bitcoin and Ether price. Remember that on ShiningBull.com you can get predictive books on Bitcoin and Ether price for this year and for the next few years, as well as several other books. These books let you recognize what is happening in the present moment so that you can put current price trends into context and properly understand what they will lead to next. When we look at the planets, we have an edge. And that edge is what Shining Bull is offering you. Now, here are the major movements in the sky that will be affecting us most here on the Earth plane this week. This week, there's only one major move, which is that Dave Guru Jupiter will enter into the sign of Taurus on Wednesday, May 1st in the morning UTC. Guru changes to a new sign every year, so this is an important shift in personal life themes and in societal themes. In personal life, these themes will be related generally to either luck, work or purpose, desire or spirituality, and they can be more specifically identified by seeing the exact house where the sign of Taurus is located in the natal Vedic chart. The specific themes of that house are most blessed and expanded during this next one year as Jupiter transits in Taurus in the Vedic or real, actual, literal sky. For civilization as a whole, since Taurus is the natural second sign of liquid resources, which include natural gifts, liquid money, immediate family, eyesight, and the face, it means that such themes are being expanded. This is why I see that different governments will be printing money sooner than people expected or otherwise creating more liquidity in their domestic economies. It also means that liquidity is exchanged with more wisdom. An example of this is tokenized funds such as Franklin Templeton's Franklin On-Chain U.S. Government Money Fund, where the token, in this case Benji, can be transferred between um, individuals. That is the big move in the sky this week. Good. Next, I'm going to go day by day. Actually, I'm not. Uh, so for, for Bitcoin and Ether price this week, I'm not going day by day. I'm going more about the week and just telling you the one important thing. But anyway, just note that Bitcoin by 2026, Bitcoin BTC 2024 predictions, ETH BTC 2024 predictions for the ratio, and Ethereum by 2026 books are available on ShiningBull.com. You may also be interested in Shining Bull altcoins 2024 and experienced Memcoin traders can check out Memcoins with Astrology. Now, let's look more up close at what the week ahead uh, holds. I, the astrologer, live in Newfoundland, but I give the weekly predictions that I make on this podcast as per UTC time. So, generally, I see the trend being down or consolidating, down consolidating until 
Tuesday, April 30th in the early morning UTC. At that moment, when Moon trines Jupiter, who is getting ready to enter into Taurus, I see a new and important upwards trend really beginning. This week for swing traders, it looks like the uh, clearest information to have is down or consolidating until Tuesday early morning UTC and then up. For intraday movements, experienced traders can check out the trading signal service on shiningbull.com. Please read the disclaimer in the details section of this video below. So that was the weekly forecast for this week ahead in Bitcoin and Ether price. Next, some news from the past week which will impact the future of crypto and of civilization. In fact, this will not impact anything but my own happiness. But I am sick, so I will end this week's podcast here. And uh, just if you want news, just watch the daily uh, podcast that I put out with news items. Of course, next week I'll be back to my normal and with a news, uh, nice news story for you on this uh, weekly podcast. But I have my, I have a fever and I'm getting over it. The season is shifting and I think that that Mercury Rahu conjunction really, uh, gave it to me. So what to do? I have to rest a little bit more than usual and I will recuperate. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all very healthy and I hope uh, you are uh, in a resilient place. And I'm excited because this week um, there's an important shift in the sky. So um, it's an exciting time. It's like a new uh, season of the life and uh, I hope that it finds you well and I will see you next week. Thank you.